Welcome back to Bizarre Bears. Remember this from my earlier video? Finally gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do with my Intel NUC with the i7 processor, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and an M.2 from Samsung. So, what we're gonna be doing is installing DAP node operating system. Yeah, I've never heard of it either, but apparently it's a pretty badass operating system. Why am I installing DAP node? Well, I'm trying to get into the Ethereum 2.0 staking, and I wanna get into it earlier rather than later. So what I'm gonna be doing is installing a test net using Topaz to try to test out the Ethereum 2.0 network uh, before it gets started. When it does, then I'll throw my Ethereum in and start my staking process. So, this is my first time doing this. You guys join me, let's, uh, let's get started. First thing we gotta do is throw the operating system on here. So, we're gonna burn the ISO to a flash drive, pop it in here, install, install some additional apps, I guess, and then, uh, then we'll start the test net and see how, how that goes. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and head over to GitHub and just type in Dapnode or just Google Dapnode installation and you'll be brought to this page here. Then you're going to want to scroll down and you want to download the Dapnode ISO image. Just go ahead and click on that and that'll start the download. I already have it downloaded so I'll cancel that. Then you're going to want to file, uh, I'm sorry, a program that uh, burns images to USB sticks. Uh, they're recommending you use Etcher here. I use Rufus, so whatever program you use is fine. So once the file's already downloaded, you just open up the little program here. This is Rufus, and you're just gonna right up here at the top, just scroll to the area that you just downloaded uh, the DAP note, put in your USB flash drive, and select where you want it. It should pop up automatically. So, but uh, let me select mine here just to cool. So. Awesome, so that's the image. It already found my flash drive, so after you're done with that, just go ahead and hit start. And yes. And yes. All right, so this is gonna take a minute. As soon as we're done, I'll be back, and we'll start the next. Okay, the ISO is finished burning, so we're good to go. You can just go ahead and hit close and find your disk and eject it. All right, pull that disk out and let's bring that over to the Intel node. All right, we got the Intel device plugged in, ready to go. Let's put our flash drive in there, just like so, and power on. All right, let's switch over to the screen. All right, flash drive's in. Let's go ahead and power on the Intel NUC. Last drive is on, let's see what we get. Okay, press enter to install, enter. English, United States. Okay, I'm just gonna hit continue. This is where we're gonna go ahead and set up our password. Let me see if it shows it here. All right, cool, so it, it blocks it out. Okay, for the root password, we're gonna leave this blank. That's gonna be twice. Username is going to be that node, so you're fine there. And here we're going to put our password in. Let me pause the video where I put my password in. Time zone. All right, here I'm going to force it. Guided, use entire disk, and set up LVM. 
Okay, the disc I'm gonna partition is the Samsung. All files in one partition. And we're gonna select yes. Continue. All right, give that a minute and we'll be back. Gonna leave this blank. All right, installation is complete. Make sure to remove your USB memory so it doesn't try to boot into it again we're good let's hit continue let's see what happens folks give it to me let's see let's see will it work the first time I think so I got some faith whoa what is that come on come on Give me an icon. Give me something. Okay, username and password. Username is dapnode. Password is whatever you put. Password. Wrong freaking password. Here we go. Here it wants me to run the command D app node connect. Underscore connect. Let's see. Awesome. Okay, so after you scan the QR code or put the link in your browser, you'll be prompted to download a file. Just go ahead and download that file, put it onto your desktop. I can't show you, my link expired, so I can't show you what that looks like. Then go ahead and go to openvpn.net and you're gonna wanna download OpenVPN. Uh, just go to get OpenVPN, find whatever uh, operating system you use, click on it and do the same thing just save it to your desktop or wherever you save your files to go ahead and open it up install it like regular after you're done doing that you want to go ahead and right click it and hit import file then you'll click the file right there's my file there you'll just find where you downloaded the the file earlier um, click on it hit open and it'll, it'll import the file for you now that gives you the ability to go ahead and connect uh, to DAP nodes. So you'll right click and then you'll hit, let me disconnect there. Right click on OpenVPN and then hit connect. And then you should be able to connect your DAP nodes. So I think I'm good there. Let me just hide that. Then you'll just come over to your browser now. Okay, sorry. Just come over to your browser and just type my DAP node right into the browser, and then you're going to be prompted with this your dashboard here. So uh, I really like the dashboard; it has a nice GUI. So you can just scroll down. There's your dashboard, your CPU status, memory status, disk space. You can go to devices, the DAP node store. You can see your packages here. You can go through these and open them up as well. And just go into the user interface and home page. You can check the system. You got your support errors. You can go and you can reboot the system there. So, yeah, so it's really good. Uh, I really like this. So, you guys, I'm going to end the video here. I'll probably film another video on how to install the apps and configure them, but it's really easy. Uh, I really like what Dabnode's done. 
uh, really simple you just download it and pretty much just click on whatever you want you just click it and hit install and it goes it goes ahead and installs it for you so with that said guys I'm gonna end this video thank you guys for watching please if you can smash that like button hit subscribe share the video it really helps we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers so if you guys can help me do that that'll be great any questions go ahead and put them in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video